There's Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. And, <laughs> and then there's Jim Adler, the person. Uh -huh. And Jim Adler, the lawyer. And uh, Jim Adler, the tough, smart lawyer. Jim Adler, the family man. So uh, there, there's a... Uh, I'm not schizophrenic, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, that sounds a little nuts, you know? <laughs> <laughs> about once a day, people will come up and say, Jim, I love that ad where you, you faced off the 18-wheeler the truck and you stopped it with your hammer, <laughs> and then you laughed and you said, ha, 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 I thought so. <laughs> so I get that. Uh, that, right. that was kind of a, an iconic ad. That was the highlight of one. Day. Yeah, yeah. People really like that ad. <laughs> people are scared when they have an accident. They right. can't, they're afraid they can't pay their rent. They can't pay for their car. They can't buy the simplest things like food. And uh, a car is such a valuable asset to somebody who loses it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people their whole life is vested in their car and, and if they don't have transportation or they rely on others for transportation they lose their independence so we like to bring bring back their independence and get them out of the darkness so to speak that an accident causes and it's a really traumatic experience i grew up in dallas so i was a big cowboys fan and Back, I guess back in the, the 60s when they were winning championships all the time. And, and now, now I'm kind of a dual fan because I have, I have Cowboys tickets and I have Texans tickets. Mm -hmm. So uh, I always say when I'm in Dallas, I'm a Cowboys fan. And when I'm in Houston, I'm a Texans fan. <laughs> so and, where, where, where's the line? Like halfway between the two cities? <laughs> and then the, the qualifier is I'm, I'm a terrible fair weather fan. Uh -huh. So whoever's winning, that's my team. <laughs> so the Cowboys start out 2-0 and oh, and Dak Prescott is perfect and I'm, man, and then all of a sudden last week, Deshaun Watson is a perfect quarterback. So the Texans look wonderful. If you bought a sports team in Houston, which one would you want? Oh, man. If I could buy the Texans. Well, the Texans or the Rockets. Mm -hmm. I love basketball, too. They only go for like $2 billion. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, that might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like being live at a ball game. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look back on that, how, how different of a person are you now than you were that first run out of law school? And well, my defense is that we, the judge said be in court at 9 a.m., so I'm there at 9 a.m., and around 10 a.m., my client rolls in. <laughs> well, <laughs> and it was kind of... Oh, here's John right now, ladies and gentlemen of the <laughs> jury. He just couldn't get here at nine, but please forgive him. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, every, that's a good point. Every loss is a learning experience. Mm -hmm. In every case I tried back then, uh, I, think, I think I learned more from my losses than I did from my wins. Really? And the saying among lawyers is, never lament a loss more than one day because mm -hmm. if you it, it, i found that if i started thinking about all the things that went wrong in a trial it'll just tear you up and eat on you so you can't the and it, it's hard to just put it down after a day but right. that that's a good principle for trying cases mm -hmm. that world in which you live in and in, in doing that I, I assume you run into a lot of people like you say who just who are at their lowest low and they they need a friend yeah, uh, and that's a great point because the the lawyer has to be a friend to the client, yet I can't, I have to be detached. I can't get depressed about myself uh, or myself about my client's dilemma. And so a lot of times with thousands and thousands of people going through tremendous hardship in their lives, it's easy to get brought down by what they're going through. And of course, I, I'd be less than human if I didn't feel it, but I, I can't be effective if I'm depressed about my client's dilemma. So we have to be rise above the dilemma and just fight as hard as we can for our clients. 
how are you able to separate the the work from your personal <laughs> life and not not bring it home with you in a while? <laughs> not well. <laughs> well. That's what the wife would say, right? <laughs> The, the cliche balance your your physical emotional and mental so that's I try to I think physical exercise is the best thing and uh, <laughs> I have a trainer my joke about trainers are is uh, trainers are the only people we pay money to to beat us up <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <So. indeed. laughs> you look like you're in pretty good shape so you, st you, st you still run quite a bit and uh... I try I try I I do uh, I do I run on the treadmill I do the bicycle I, um, they say that the body gets acclimated to one form of cardio if, if you do it too long. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to vary my cardio to engage the different muscle groups. Mm -hmm. It's really sophisticated. I, I didn't realize all the stuff that goes into it. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. a whole industry now, so it's uh, <laughs> That's a lot for going sure. on. Yes. Every day I tell my, we have 30 lawyers, I tell them, look, we're all part of a team and you have your own team within the law firm, and in order to do well for our clients, it's all about teamwork. Mm -hmm.